Alright, hello everybody. I'm uh, back to show you how to uh, approach gluing these magnets on. Temporarily, I'm using a hot glue gun because I don't want to use any real permanent glue for right now. And I'm showing you some techniques I've figured out using the hot glue gun that work better than my first attempts where I was having a lot of stuff coming off all the time. Anyway, uh, instead of showing you how to glue it onto this disc, uh, I thought I'd show you putting it on this new motor I'm about to build here. And uh, the, the idea is the same, you just apply it to uh, the disc instead of this thing. But, uh, there's a few tools I want to show you, there's some um, ideas about I, uh, the north-south orientation of your magnets, especially the ones I'm using, which are hard drive magnets. So I guess I'll show you that first. I've got six of these uh, little guys, which are south on one side and north on the other. So I'm going to glue these on here like this. Okay. And eventually because I have these other magnets uh, which actually have north and south on the face like that I've got a whole bunch of these as well and only six of the others and I'd like to produce like a you know 12 pole maybe anyway um, with these I'm gonna put north down here on the lower half because later I might mimic this by putting two magnets on here like that. I hope you all can see that. So that I can mimic what's going on with this magnet. But that will be another, uh, another round. Right now I'm just going to play with all north facing magnets. Anyway, uh, what I've done is actually pre-glued these blocks with the hot glue gun. This thing is not on right now, but I'll just show you what I did. Is basically, I just penetrated uh, this wood block here with a thin layer of, of hot glue. And did the same thing on the magnets like that and spread a thin layer all over the back of the magnet. Then what I do, and I'll show you here in a minute, is uh, I got a stainless steel bracket here so that it doesn't stick to the magnet, <laughs> which is what I figured out. Uh, using iron or something doesn't work so dark because <laughs> it just it sticks right on there. Anyway, I heat this up with, with uh, my torch on you know on real low so that this is hot enough to heat the glue up again and what I'll do is have the magnet ready sitting on here I'll get this warm I'll heat this glue up this glue up and then press it on there and that has been working pretty well for me and then once once they're glued on Let's pretend that's glued on there. What you can do is come around and glue around the edges, you know, everywhere you can get to, and that gives it uh, a lot more sticking power. But it's really hard to to take the hot glue gun, put glue on there, and push this on there before it it starts uh, cooling off. So it won't lay flat. It's not really glued on there very well. So. This method seems to help get a much tighter and more evenly distributed glue surface, so that's the idea. Um, let's see, I wanted to show you what I'm doing with this. Basically what I did is milled up some blocks of wood that fit real tight inside this rim here. I'm going to improve upon this, but I'm just playing right now. Uh, so these are kind of held in by friction. I'll probably wrap some tape around this whole thing before I run it, but I might risk it and run it anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'm going to say, 
Oh, uh, the spoke spacing. Uh, it's different with all wheels, but this one happens to be real nice to where the distance between each one of these spokes is 10 degrees, so it's really easy to use them as an alignment tool. Basically, I decided to center this in between the spokes. You could center it directly over it, but that's harder to align because visually I can I can look, I cut this the same distance between the two spokes so I can visually align it uh, properly. Another thing you could do if you take this approach, which I haven't done but I'm thinking about it, is to actually cut a, a slight arc on the bottom so that this block rests nicely on the uh, diameter of the wheel here. So those are some ideas I was playing with. Um, other than that, uh, actually I balanced this wheel by taping on washers to where this thing doesn't rotate no matter where you put it. I'm going to put it anywhere and it won't move because when I first put it on here where this weld seam is on the rim, it was the heaviest point so it would always settle out down there. So I just messed around with moving the uh, getting enough weight and then moving them around uh, this way or that way until it balanced out. So that's what I did there. Um, I'm gonna kill the video for now and uh, get get a few things set up and then come back and show you how I'm gluing these things on. All right.